This is how stopping sugar intake can have massive benefits for your health. This is what happens when you stop eating sugar. Firstly, you'll lose your appetite to sugar. But why? This is because every time you consume sugar, a hormone called hypoglycemia comes in there and pushes your blood sugars down, causing low blood sugar levels, and that is going to cause you to crave sugar. So by getting rid of sugar, you get rid of the craving for sugar. Second, you'll be less hungry. It's the sugar that actually makes you hungry all the time and crave snacks. This is because you'll absorb nutrients a lot better too because insulin resistance, which is present during a high sugar diet, also blocks nutrients, minerals, vitamins, which all make you feel full. So number three, for the first week you're going to dump a lot of water and some fat, but after that, it'll be less noticeable. Some people within one week can lose about 13 pounds of fluid. They're holding that fluid inside their body, and that isn't healthy for the heart. If you reduce the sugar, the stomach shrinks. If you eat the sugar, your stomach will expand. Number five is an enhanced mood. So if you were moody before, you're now going to be a lot calmer, less stressed, and you're going to be actually nice to be around. Also, your cognitive function will improve. So you're going to feel more focused and have more concentration. So number six is that your skin is going to look much better. You're going to have less acne. Your skin's going to glow. And that's just a reflection of what happens. When you consume sugar, your insulin goes up and also the hormone androgens. And we're talking about females. Androgen will go up and that's going to create acne. In a male body, the increased insulin will lower testosterone. So you're going to have other problems that are associated with low testosterone. As a result of decreased sugar, testosterone may be raised. So on to number seven. As a result of your sugar-free diet, you'll have less stiffness, less inflammation, less pain. When you do start the sugar-free diet, you may have a worsening of the symptoms for three days. But fear not, if you took some B vitamins from nutritional yeast and some potassium, you probably won't have any symptoms. So it's going to be relatively easy. At the cellular level, you're building new enzymes to run your body off fat fuel. You have a little machines that are literally changing over to a different fuel source. You'll get less inflammation in your arteries. It's going to help you in the long run, prevent a clot or placking, and help reduce the risk of a stroke and a heart attack. Also, you'll start growing brain cells because when you reduce sugar, you run your body in a different source of fuel called ketones and ketones support the growth of nerve cells. So this sugar-free diet will also aid the liver. You're going to start using some of this fat that's been accumulating in your liver as fuel. So you're on your way to cleaning out the liver so it's no longer fatty. As a side note, if you have a large belly, chances are you have a fatty liver. So by doing this, you will reduce the fat inside your liver. And lastly, you're going to have better kidney function. The kidney is the target for problems. When you actually cut down the amount of sugar, reduce the carbs, you're going to improve kidney function greatly. All right, guys, there you have it. You may want to try this. Be sure to subscribe for next week's video and check out my description for other health guides such as how to grow taller even after puberty.